But so you can get up, you can get a dust by adding that. Uh, and that's pretty, that's pretty good on that metal work right there. If y'all remember, just check back a couple of videos how we got this thing up to this point right here. I mean, we've had it laid, we've had it laid by for a while, uh, not working on it, you know that. But, and there's no rhyme or reason, reasoning as to, you know, why I choose, choose to work on it next. Other than the fact that I've got completely total away from my core interest, which is a model model engine. See, see that match my core interest. That model engines and uh, on the on the small lathe making stuff. Actually, this is this is actually turning out a little better. Oh, I shouldn't say that. It's turning out exactly as I envisioned it. Now I think what I'll do, let you in on a little secret here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime this with that high build primer, the automotive grade. I think I'm gonna prime this with that because I, I, I don't I don't I don't think I'm gonna need no more spot putty. You know, there's there, there's nothing that thick. Okay, I will need some more. I don't know. That's see. I think I think that high build primer will. Uh, I think that high build primer will take that uh, the depth that I can imagine those. Uh, scratches to be is nothing. You know, uh, a real heavy coat of paint would probably, most likely, anyone else would go ahead and do it. But uh, I think maybe I'll prime it two times more at least. So I want this thing to be set. Oh, I don't know. I think that train was parked over there. I hear him acting up as well. That horn and all. I, th I think he was coming in for a parking, and because I could hear a a train. Now well, this is the blowing horn again, so I think I think get ready to leave. He just been sitting over idling all this time. Yeah. Now we'll turn it over and do that other side. But first. You know, uh, make sure that uh, we'll get a close-up view on it so you'll know, uh, taken as a whole, if you need to spot put it, or, so yeah, that's kind of, right here is, uh, I mean, this is, this is the way to do it, but it's a little awkward and you can get a, you can get a wave in your paint. In, in an area like this right here where it goes from one transition to the other. I mean, it, it's hard to do, but, you know, somebody's got to do it, so it might as well be you. Oh, I've got questions to answer, too. I should, I should comment. See, now that right there looks really good. Oh, I'm more than happy with that. Okay, the primer will definitely, oh see that's good to go right there. But I, I had worked that, I had worked that weld in, I had worked that weld in, I don't know man, oh, that's definitely good. Oh yeah, that's actually, I, that's a little better than I was expecting me to do. This is one of those cases where you have to question at what point does an engine cease to be an engine 
and become an art piece. You, you have to ask yourself, and and I, and I think uh, once once I bolt that engine onto this stand right here, I think at that point right there it ceased to be an engine. I think it's going to be art from there on out. See, that's better. That's much better work than. Well, you won't get that down there at the corner. Right there, the way that, and I, and and I'm gonna probably again, like I said, but right at the last, I'll lay a Scotch bright pattern to it. You know what I mean? But even 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 when I get the whole thing done, if there's something that's a little bit askew, I, I won't be disappointed because. Uh, uh, just imagine this coming down the assembly line, making one after the other, as this engine was. You know, this engine wasn't put to hand fitted or nothing like that. I mean, they was running these things by, and the only thing that the mechanic, the assembler, was thinking about was quitting time. You know, he wasn't dedicated in there uh, solely to build this one engine, as we are. You know. Leave a comment. Right in here is one of the areas where that I'm going to. Uh, I'm doing it on purpose. I, I would have went about it a different way had. And I'll explain this to you. It's where the. I think it's where the. Uh, you, you know the artist me. I, I I can take. I I can take you in a. A, a train of thought. A mind movie, so to speak, by leave, leaving. See, I want to leave these wells on here. Is what I want to do on, on these on these fins, and they serve no purpose other than matching the fins on the engine. It's purely decorative. So, uh, and and I wanted them to look industrial, you know, not blended in. Uh, one of those areas because the engine's going to be pretty slick. You know, it'll be overly slick. So you have to have an area to bring you back to reality. And I think that's where it would be at. Oh, okay, see, and, 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 and using the light, if you're, if you're doing this right here, you know what I'm talking about. Using the light as a, as a, as a guide, using light. See, when I look across through yonder, I can see different colors. Okay, most of the time, where it's not been sanded is a glossier color, a slick color. And where it's been sanded, it'll be a whole different color and texture also. So, you, you keep your eye out uh, for such areas. Oh, yeah, it's going to be... Uh, well, I'm going to have a lot of work in it because I'll have to do some of this right here off camera, if you know what I mean. Oh no, uh, that's going along real good. Let's see. Oh yeah, I probably can get to that right up here. Yeah, a little bit better. So, you know, just looking at, just looking at life from a different perspective. Yes, uh, and, and also, uh, see, I, I could have took this a little bit to the steam punk look, you know. Uh, oh, I wish I had not thought of that. I uh, almost I should get on to the these brass bolt kits that someone is selling on the internet as a Maytag bolt kit. Uh, man, that's one of the worst uh, things that a Maytag owner has ever done to their engine is to put, say, a brass uh, bolts on the gas tank. You know what I mean? Uh, man, somebody done that one time, 
and then somebody copied him, and then somebody copied him. It's time to throw those brass bolts in the bin and put the uh, put them number 30s in the place of them. You know what I mean? If you've got a Maytag, you want it to at least have some Maytag parts on it. Man. Ah. Uh, well, you know, I guess somebody had to do it. But and, and all I'm gonna do is just just follow that contour. Let it be the uh, let, let it be the guide. Cause I really think that's just a long sloping. Because I mean, at this point, you ain't gonna be changing no metal height. Just the low places that that you're looking for that perfect median, me, medium, or, or, or that uh, that color stops and that color starts right down there. Where that is, it's so gradual that, that it can't be detected. And you never know it was there. That, that's what you're shooting for. Uh, perfection to the point where that I felt I had to uh, I had to add that uh, industrial look back to it with these wells on these fins right here you know to that point and I think that's just the artistic uh, you, you know you can you can bend what should be for artistic purposes. Uh, yeah. But that's actually one of the places that you do not want to err. You, you, you don't want to spend too less amount of time on it. He is uh, flat flat places. Uh, see, see, right here, I, I could, I could have, I could have the block on here, uh, definitely. Uh, I would advise you to do it, and that way you would have a perfectly flat surface across. But that's not what I wanted. Uh, I, I wanted to be kind of higher in the middle. You know what I mean? See, that looks pretty good. Even if I did do that, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Remember, it's all free, and you done seen it here first. And I, I'm just going to run these corners as I go. You know what I mean? Because uh, I, I think, I think, uh, and not much, just enough to... Uh, knock off any burrs and that, and that way I can be looking at it as I go and feel too. Don't forget about feeling. Use your fingers to feel. It's got a high place in it. You know, is it low? Does it feel wiggly across there? You use the whole fingers right there. You know what I mean? Okay. Now, now, see right here is, is one of those, th 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 this is one of them areas right here, uh, if, if we may go to school, this is one of those areas that is bordering on me sanding it too deep. It was a, it was a low place there, and I put some spot putty on it, and as, I, as I'm sanding it right there, it's feathering out real good, but it's getting lower than, than this part out here. So that's where you have to use restrain and don't sand that in the mold. Okay. Now, I, you, you're not going to be able to see that but there's a low place right in that cup right there where that moves around. There's a low place. You know, I think Primer would probably get to that, too. Uh, so far. 
And I'm going to upgrade. Now I'm going to put the automotive high bill climber on top of this. And then, and then, and then, and then 